Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to have a look at nodes. So here I am again on the Wiki API page, and we've come down to nodes here. So nodes are, as it says here in the description here, many of the objects um, that you can uh, manipulate within the Air Manager uh, API function. So things like images, text, buttons and a big long list of uh, other things too. So these nodes um, you can do uh, these sort of basic functions on um, including move, visible, <laughs> opacity and viewport rect. So we're going to dive in and have a look at these uh, four functions just to see how you can manipulate uh, a node. Um, I'm going to use an image for the purposes of this demonstration today but it equally applies to uh, these other things as well and uh, when we dive into the code you'll see I've got a list in there just to show you which ones they are. So here in the code window there for our little test instrument um, um, you can see I've created um, a, just a couple of variables here to demonstrate uh, a couple of things later on in the code you'll see uh, and then an image add so I'm just going to add an image just a very basic uh, um, image of a switch to our little t uh, test instrument uh, and then we're going to manipulate uh, that image with the um, common node functions um, of move visible opacity and viewport rect so just before we do that um, this is a, li a little list that I knocked together of all the items that are on the um, API functions um, that basically Air Manager considers uh, these as being nodes so that that includes images which we're going to uh, use today but running images which we haven't uh, uh, covered yet but um, we will be covering um, text running text buttons switches dials slider scroll wheel the map uh, the canvas for the uh, canvas drawing tools uh, group which is uh, grouping uh, any one of these uh, or more uh, than one of these uh, together in a group and then you can uh, move the whole group or you can sh uh, uh, apply visibility or opacity to the whole group uh, and then a new one uh, relating to instrument which we're not really going to uh, discuss but it's a new one related to the um, panel um, code it isn't actually in Air Manager as yet but it's coming soon so let's delve straight into the uh, to the move function first so you can see I've got this uh, commented out at the moment oh actually I'm gonna leave that commented out uh, for the purposes of just showing how the uh, the image is before we apply any of these uh, things to it so if we just run our instrument very quickly then you'll see that when it fires up it's just an image uh, not a very good image but an image of a, a switch there um, scaled up to um, 200 by 200 just um, starting off at zero zero so the top left hand corner there and taking up the full uh, size of the uh, our 200 by 200 instrument there so that's that's our default for starting so if we apply and use the move function and bearing in mind that you can do this not just on an image or there are images associated with um, things like buttons and switches and dials because obviously um, you need an image to to base the operation of your your switch or your dial on in the uh, or button in the first place so these moves and uh, visible opacity and viewport rec apply equally to any of these functions we're just literally using the uh, image here just as a, as a way of demonstrating but it applies equally to any of them so if we delve in straight away with the move then the move function um, if you look at the um, the API um, page for uh, node it says that you need the a node ID X and Y and then the width and the height so we'll go back into the code here so the node ID would be the ID that you retrieve from the particular node when you add it so in this case it's I've called it image ID is my image but uh, you could ap uh, apply that same thing for uh, as I've uh, said already 
any one of these things. So our node ID for the purposes of all of these tests is going to be image ID, which is what we've created here at the start of the instrument. My X and Y, um, I'm saying I want my X to be 100, so no longer the 0, 0, 0, uh, sorry, the, um, the 0, X position in the top left-hand corner here, because this instrument is a 200 by 200 instrument currently, so I'm going to say I want to go half of the distance across there, so to 100. I'm going to say my Y is going to be nil. So this is one of the options that you have within the move function is you can use nil in any one of these um, X, Y or width and height parameters. So if you didn't want to change the um, size of the instrument, for instance, you could put nil and nil in the, in the width and the height. I'm only changing them because um, I'm just demonstrating to you uh, the way it works. But most of the time if you didn't want to uh, mess about with your image or didn't want to resize it in any way and you just wanted to shift it you'd have nil and nil in these last two parameters because you didn't want to mess with the, the width and the height so when you put nil it just basically retains the values that you had originally set up so if i'd have put nil in there it would have just used 200 by 200 but i'm going to change it to uh, a smaller switch so what you should see here then looking at that code is we should see uh now a switch starting at uh, X, X of 100, the Y is not changing because it's nil, so that's still going to be at the um, a zero position, uh, but it's going to be a smaller switch, it's only going to be 100 by 100, so it should hopefully appear in this uh, top right hand corner. Let's have a look and see what happens. So there you go, um, exactly as I said. Um, a smaller 100 by 100 switch and it's shifted over so as you can see I can if I change these now just to nil nil as well the only parameter I'm literally changing is the uh, in fact let, let, let's change that one just to show that that one goes to nil um, and this one will go to 100 so now what we're going to get is we're going to get a full size uh, switch the X is, is going to be back here now because we've said it's nil and the Y is now going to be done here. So we're going to probably just see the top sort of uh, half of the switch showing around about here somewhere. Let's try that. There you have it. So that's the move function. Um, fairly straightforward. You can choose to manipulate uh, as many or as little of these parameters as you wish. So let's comment that out. Should get us back to our, um, whoops, I didn't save. Should get us back to our uh, starting switch position. Now we're going to uh, use uh, visible. Visible is fairly straightforward. Again, you use the image ID and you just apply to it a Boolean value of true or false. True obviously shows the image, false hides the image. So for, for starters here, we're going to go full whoops false and then when I run it now we shouldn't see the switch there you go it's now invisible uh, now and obviously it's fairly straightforward to go back uh, to true one of the things you can do um, with visible I've seen this used quite a lot with the true and the false, but one of the other things, oh, and it's true to say this about the, the, the move and the other functions as well too, is you can use variables in place of these uh, statements. So you don't have to have uh, um, values in here necessarily, but you can have a, a variable that relates to a value. Uh, so you can be changing it somewhere else and this, this can uh, pull that value into the thing. So in the case of the uh, visible, I could say something like, you'll see I've created a couple of variables up here there, I could say so what I've said there is I've said um, visible uh, my image ID then I've uh, in my this is this essentially forms the whole of my true or false so it basically equates these statements to be a true or a false so I've said power on well my power on is a true so that's okay and I need the other statement to also be true so then both need to be true otherwise it's going to return false so I need the power on to be true 
and I need the variable that I've named var to be greater than or equal to 2. So you can see it is um, 2 at the moment and power on is set to true. So we should see a switch as we do. Now if I change any of these parameters now change that one to false now it's that will become false and that one's still true but false and true means it uh, the overall is a false so it should disappear there you go you get the idea so essentially um, you can mix and match and put some long statements in there or you can just have one variable name in there and you can do all the uh, you know the, the the criteria for whether or not it shows a high as, uh, within that um, var and then eventually as long as that finally comes out to equate to a true or false um, basically that's what drives whether or not it's it's visible or not so it's quite powerful in that respect um, you you can f flick on various other things if it hasn't got power you can not show it or if this state hasn't met you not show it or if the variables not below or above a certain value you can not show it or show it so it gives you the flexibility to um, turn um, things or, or, or I'll say turn them on and off but show them or not show them uh, within the instrument uh, uh, depending on various states of uh, variables um, within your code or that what you're getting from the simulator itself so that's visible opacity so with opacity again you use the image ID and what um, you do here is you change the value here and again you can do this in a variable and uh, it, um, just put the variable name in here um, we just got the number in here for the moment so this this should vary between 0 and 1 so 0 would be completely um, invisible uh, or you know with an opacity of 0 should I say uh, and then with an opacity of 1 uh, you it will be the normal image so if I leave it at 0.5 you'll see the effect that that gives um, of the uh, switch there you, there you can see the uh, opacity has changed there we change that down to a lower uh, value you get the idea of the effect that will look even more washed out now there you go uh, and then you can go back up the other way so it enables you to do things like uh, uh, dimming of instruments or, or fading things in and out by changing this uh, this value over time in a variable and that's what you can uh, do with opacity and then the last one is viewport rect so viewport um, rect um, essentially enables you to look upon the image um, within another uh, rectangle so it's a bit difficult to explain but it's um, fairly straightforward when you when you see it um, when you see it working so there's our basic um, switch again We'll edit this out. So what I'm doing here is again I've got the image ID and then I'm saying that from coordinates 0, 0, so from this, this point here, if I come across my window, my viewport if you like, is going to be 100 pixels across, so across here, and 100 pixels down, down there. So that's the size of it. It's going to start here and it's going to be that big. So just, just show me that part of the switch, that top left hand corner part of the switch so let's see what that looks like when we run the code there you go so the switch is still there but now the viewport uh, is only um, enabling me to see the the coordinates that I've selected there and obviously you can um, you can shift those uh, around that should uh, now be down the bottom here and there we go so because I've shifted the Y there so it just enables you to um, play around with um, instruments if you've got a bigger image and you just want to see a, a, a smaller section of it and the viewport rect also comes in handy with with things like uh, running images and, and running text just to, to limit the extents of uh, what you see on screen but you'll see that in uh, being used a little bit more when we get into uh, looking at some of those uh, other things let's just try the 50 by 50 starting so now that should just show uh, there you go so 50 pixels in from the left 50 pixels uh, down and it's still 100 by 100 so that's what uh, it's going to 
uh, show for me. So those four functions, as I said, fairly straightforward. Um, they just literally uh, manipulate uh, any of these nodes in the same way. Um, you can move them around, you can show or hide them, you can mess about with the opacity, and of course you can uh, use this viewport rec to look at certain elements of those particular nodes as you see fit. So this concludes uh, the nodes video. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, have a play around with it and uh, see how you get on. See you again next time.